Hi folks, Max from GalaxyS4Root.com um, Today I'm going to show you how to install a new ROM using Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, this is the manual method and uh, you can install any ROM using this method if you have Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, Twerp is really similar, pretty much identical, just looks different. I'll have another guy for Twerp, but this is for Clockwork Mod Recovery. I've got my T-Mobile Galaxy S4 here. Um, but uh, if you have Clockwork Mod Recovery installed on any Galaxy S4, this will work. First, go ahead and download the ROM zip file. Don't unzip it. You can download it straight to your phone, or you can also download to your uh, computer and then copy it over uh, to anywhere in your internal storage or SD card on your phone. Now, once you've done that, and also for AOSP ROMs, uh, such as Clockwork Mod, uh, such as Sinogen Mod 10.1, which I'm actually installing, you'll need to also download the Google Apps. Uh, if you don't install that, you will not have Play Store. But uh, if you're, you know, installing TouchWiz based ROMs, you don't need Google Apps separately. And some apps, uh, the most apps actually come with uh, Google Apps. Um, now, if you don't know what AOSP ROMs are, just go Google uh, what is AOSP, high on Android on Google, and you'll find my video explanation, the difference between TouchWiz and AOSP. Anyway, let me show, go ahead and show you how to um, install a new ROM. First thing you want to do is uh, power off your phone, alright? And I'm going to show you how to manually boot into Clockwork My Recovery because sometimes there are times where you might end up in a boot loop and uh, that's why I'm going to show you this manual method but usually with custom ROM you can reboot straight into recovery using the menus, power menus. Go ahead and hold down volume up, center home and the power button. So go ahead and hold down volume up, center home and then the power button like that and keep holding it down until you see the logo alright and the blue little recovery booting and then let go of volume up and the center home, right? You should see a little, little blue sign, recovery booting. Um, that's what it says. Now, depending on the type of clock of my recovery um, you have, uh, it might look slightly different, but the menus are pretty much the same. And uh, sorry, I'm not home right now. And let me change the camera angle real quick. All right, once you, you are in clock of my recovery, uh, the menus might look a little bit different, but they're pretty much um, nearly identical for all the Clockwork Mod recoveries. Um, this is for the T-Mobile Galaxy S4. So, uh, first thing you want to do, make sure you made a backup ROM. Um, I have full instructions. Check FAQ at GalaxyS4Root.com and make a backup ROM if you haven't, uh, because that way you can restore your ROM very easily. And uh, you'll most likely need to do a wipe data factory reset um, if you're installing an AOSP ROM. If not, you can try without a uh, wipe data factory reset. This will erase everything, all your apps, app settings, uh, stuff like that, but it's not going to erase uh, anything in your internal storage or SD card such as personal photos and medias. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe data factory reset um, since I'm installing an AOSP ROM and I did make a backup of my stock rooted ROM um, so I can always go back. So I'm going to go ahead and select power and I'm going to go ahead and say yes. All right. And this will delete your data cache, um, everything that needs to be deleted so you can install any kind of uh, new ROM. And you can do this for any ROM. Uh, usually this is the recommended way. That way you get a fresh uh, new ROM in there. Next, what you want to do is um, go ahead and uh, install zip from SD card. And uh, depending on whether you download it to your internal storage or maybe you copy it to your external SD card, um, choose one or the other, this one or this one. But I've downloaded straight to my phone, so I'm going to go to choose zip from SD card and choose uh, zero. All right, and that will actually get you into the directories. I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, download here. All right, and I'm going to find my ROM zip file for CM 10.1. Make sure you're installing the correct version of the ROM for your phone model. Make sure it's compatible. If it's not, you can brick your phone. And a lot of people don't uh, skip this directions here. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the CM10.1 uh, made for my T-Mobile there. And I'm going to say yes. And this will pretty much install the ROM. Some ROMs nowadays come with this thing called Aroma Installer, Graphical Installer. That will allow you to actually choose different packages that's installed. Uh, this one is just straight install, so I don't have to go through that. Uh, but, you know, if you get Aroma Graphical Installer, you'll get additional options you can choose. 
All right. And this should take anywhere between a minute to five minutes, depending on the ROM. Now, most of the AOSP ROMs are very small in size. And, uh, you know, so I can install this. Um, pretty quickly, it should come up here when it's done installing. All right. Once you get installed from SD card complete, for most ROMs, you can go back and reboot system now. Um, now, with this ROM, I do need to install Google Apps. I'm going to go to choose zip from SD card. I'm going to go to the download directory again or wherever I copied my files. And I'm going to install G Apps here. This is the Google Apps. I'm going to go to install. Um, but if it, your ROM doesn't require it, don't install Google Apps. You can also mess with um, your phone. And once this is done, this should take another five seconds there. And it is done. Um, go ahead and hit go back. Now, if you feel paranoid, you can also do another wipe uh, cache partition here. You don't have to, but I'm going to do it for you if you if you feel paranoid. Cache is basically temporary files. It doesn't actually delete anything other than temporary files, but it can help your ro uh, new ROM boot easily. And also you can do uh, advanced and do wipe Dolby cache. These cache is all, you know, temporary files. So you can just do this and then that will complete the cache. And I'm going to go ahead, go back, reboot system now, reboot now. And hopefully, I'll have a working uh, Simon Gen Mod 10.1 on my T-Mobile uh, Galaxy S4. Now, this method is the same for all the Galaxy S4, so long as you have Clockwork Mod Recovery. If you have Twerp, uh, you know, it's nearly identical, just the menus look different. And uh, I've got my Simon Gen Mod uh, booting up here. And actually, I'm recording this part of the, the latter part of this video using my Galaxy S4. Um, because it's actually better than my my Canon uh, Canon digital camera. I'm actually not home right now, so I can't use my DSLR. But uh, working really well in low light for video recording. I had to um, just uh, mess with the settings, and you know th this one works okay. Just in low light, I don't know for some reason it, it will not pick up the um, the clock where my recovery highlighted lines it it'll just make it look too bright there you go so i've got it booted it um once you get to this point you're all pretty much good to go if it boots now if it doesn't boot um you can try a fresh reinstall that's the first thing i recommend uh but if you do get to the screen and your phone boots then you're all good to go and now you should um if you did use titanium backup app to back up all of your apps you can go back and uh, restore all of your apps using Titanium Backup app. And if for some reason it doesn't boot, you can always use uh, Power Off, use the buttons to get into the Clock Remind Recovery, and restore um, your back backup ROM. That's why we, you know, I ask you to make a backup ROM before you install a new ROM, at least one. And you'll always have one ROM, t um, you know, with all of your settings, uh, all of your app data that you can go back to and have a working phone without, you know, trying to unroot your phone, all that good stuff. Anyway, that's how you um, install a new ROM on any Galaxy S4 with Clock Remote Recovery. Again, very important, you have to download a ROM that's compatible with your phone. Um, otherwise, you can brick your uh Galaxy S4, you'll have to send it in for repair. So I don't want you to end up there. Just make sure you download the correct ROM and you know, you can't really break if you follow this method. Anyway, thanks guys for watching this video. Um, if you like this video, as always, don't forget to hit the like button down here for me and also um, subscribe button down there. And if you have a Galaxy S4, any of the Galaxy S4s, um, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, galaxys4root.com. Uh, we update you once a week with ROM of the Week, tips, hacks, and more. And also, if you're on YouTube, um, oh, I already said that. <laughs> what am I saying? Anyway, say hi on Android, folks, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. And have fun with um, your custom ROM.